As the saying goes, there's no place like home, but sometimes the travel bug bites and you just want to change the scenery. This morning, I'm breaking down the trends we're expecting to see in the new year and the destinations you might want to consider before booking. words are likely to describe travel in 2024. Record breaking. As revenge travel post pandemic shutdowns continues. This year is going to be big. That's Katie Nastro with Going. We help people explore and travel the world one amazing flight deal at a time. The subscription service just released its state of travel 2024. And we know based on our state of travel report that even with inflation and things feeling more expensive all around, Travel is still a priority for people. More than 50% of people surveyed said they are expecting to pay more for travel in 24, and they're finding that money no matter what. Some respondents said that they would be willing to give up Netflix or streaming services. For avid traveler, Michelle Smolin. It's one of my top priorities, period. Nothing will stand in the way of her getting away. I'm willing to pay for something that brings me joy. Despite a spike in airfare and transportation costs, I just go where I want to go. Michelle's calendar for 2024 is filling up. Roughly how many trips a year do you take? Five or six, huh? which my mother is always concerned is I'm going to cause me to get fired. My 92 year old mother. While there's expected to be a big uptick in international travel this year, I am considering a trip to um, Ireland and perhaps Paris. There are some domestic destinations gaining in popularity, like Lexington, Kentucky. So it's definitely a foodie destination to watch for 2024. You may also want to put the desert southwest on your map if you're looking to escape the crowds and unwind. You can definitely get your spa on in various places like the Pueblo Cultural Center's Rainwater Wellness Spa in New Mexico. And don't miss Southern hospitality and some history in Macon, Georgia. It's a small city, but you know, it's really the birthplace of Southern rock and roll. Regardless of where Americans are going this year. But I find Greece could be completely otherworldly. Italy's wonderful. Yes. Michelle's travel agent, Dawn Scadlock, with Flight to Travel in Beechwood. It's overwhelming. It's doing her best to keep up with the number of people in Northeast Ohio looking to get away. Last year, December, January, we're booking five times as much as we did last year. That's how incredible. I mean, travels just has not let up. As for who is not surprised, Michelle, who says for so many people, including herself, travel brings so much joy. Travel gives me glimpses into other people's worlds, different cultures and different experiences and foods, and it broadens my life, which I think is essential as a human. I love that they travel together. Now, the best piece of advice that I got is to look at second cities, like the ones I mentioned in this story, and avoid booking during peak times. Well, Tiffany, the state of travel also had a survey about what are the pet peeves that people have while flying. Now, the worst offense at 27%, a fellow passenger having a cough or cold and not ooh wearing a mask. Oh, we right? I hate that. We Absolutely. all know the hacking Put behind the mask you, on. Right? 15% said someone not using headphones while listening to music. That's a, that's a big one. And 11%, the person in front of you reclining without checking with you first or kicking back during meals. I hate when people kick my seat. The person <laughs> behind in the back, you? yes. Yeah, that, that's, that's a big the one. thing I hate. Yeah. Yeah. People need to have a little more self-awareness. We need to do better as a society, I think. I, I, I will co-sign that. <laughs>